There are a few features that make Mirrorty for Teams so special. The first is concurrent use. Mirrorty for Teams supports features like concurrently debugging the same service using HTTP filters, or if your application is using a queue service or consuming messages from a queue, it supports stealing only a subset of the queue messages using the queue splitting features based on your needs. And it also supports Mirrorty policies, which prevents developers from making changes to sensitive databases or stealing traffic without having HTTP filters set. The second thing which Mirrorty for Teams brings in is better security. Organizations usually end up giving developers more permissions than needed to interact with the staging or testing cluster. With Mirrorty for Teams, only the Mirrorty operator needs elevated permissions and not individual developers on your team. This keeps your DevOps team happy and your environment secure. And lastly, Mirrorty for Teams also supports advanced features like support for jobs, services, stateful sets, and HTTPS traffic stealing, among more. I won't go into the detail of all of these features, but you should check out the Mirrorty documentation to learn more. So to sum up, with Mirrorty for Teams, all your developers collaborate seamlessly, securely, and efficiently on real cloud infrastructure.